The conditions uh, have been treacherous all day. That's what our Casey Lund found this morning. He was covering the snow during the morning commute. We're here in the Hangman Valley neighborhood. A lot of slush and snow on the roadway this morning, and that's why one of the worst accidents that we saw in town was right here. It took two large semi wreckers more than two hours to free this waste management truck from a draw here in Hangman Valley. Firefighters with County District 8 were cautious when investigating this crash. These trucks are fueled by natural gas. In a statement this morning, waste management said in part the driver was taken to a local hospital with non life threatening injuries. The driver's a longtime waste management employee. He was collecting residential garbage, and the truck was running with chains due to weather conditions in the area. Around the region, most of the traffic trouble this morning was outside of the Spokane area. Several crashes and slide offs on Highway 395 and Highway 2, both north and west of town, kept county and state resources busy as heavy snow blanketed the inland northwest. In Spokane, the interstate was bare and wet during the commute, and travelers didn't see many problems making their way west or east. I'm Casey Lund for KXLY 4 News. Well, one person was killed, another seriously injured in a crash near Soap Lake this morning. Their truck was headed south on State Route 17, about 11 miles north of Soap Lake, when the driver lost control because of icy roads. Here's a photo from iFiber One News. It says that that truck went off the road, a road, it rolled down an embankment, and then came to a rest in some water. The passenger was saved by a sheriff's deputy and a fish and wildlife officer. They jumped in to that partially frozen lake to rescue him. The driver died at the scene.